Well, I'm just relaxing, cooking up some shit before heading into the great unknown, reflecting on what might have been the most impressive opening hours of a game I've ever played. It's absolutely mesmerising. I'm so excited to see how good this game's going to be, and a bit scared as well. I was so immersed that I lost track of time, but I did hit record eventually, and this video's the result, so enjoy, and if you haven't, play this game any way you can. Stay up to date by subscribing and hitting that bell, yeah. Breath of the Wild, the Great Plateau, welcome, and what a game, what a beautiful game. I haven't seen cell shading like this for so long, it's like, whoa. And yeah, Zelda, old man, has promised me a hand glider if I collect four magical orbs, which I'm in the process of doing. I've come from all the way down over here, yeah? and climbed up this cliff face, which was an adventure in itself. And we're gonna go in this shrine behind me now to hopefully get the third orb and we'll go from there. And the two I've been in so far were really straightforward. They were just like mini challenges in which I got an orb each and new abilities, which I'll try and demonstrate in a minute once we're down there. And for Zelda as well, or any game really, yeah, the new items are coming thick and fast and I assume I'll get even more once I've come out of this one. So let's go below. We'll see what's on offer. Okay, what's the crack? Oh, cog. Oh, bloody smash your trial. Coggy. I love a big cog. Oh, it's just not Zelda without giant rock balls. Nice, nice. Okay, this thing over here will tell us uh, what the situation is. Let's get my tablet in. That's uh, really satisfying. Oh no, it's another new ability. Oh yeah, I think I've seen this one on videos. Right, so you can make uh, stop an object in time and you can store its energy as well. So I'm sure we'll figure it out. Here it is, stasis. Oh. Well, but actually, yeah, I'll just show you my stuff I've already got. So I've got the classic bombs with a new look, but the remote as well, and square ones that don't roll around, and I've got this magnet thing that you can use to attract, uh, well, use our metal -y stuff, but there's nothing in here to use from what I can see. So the shrine's just for the new ability, fortunately. So, yeah, and before we even try that as well, this is just so Mario, I've got to just try and pretend that I'm Mario. <laughs> just, to, just to confirm that I can't proceed without using it on that cog as well. <laughs> so yeah, just back to my own game now. Blink. Let's do it, but eat some foods. Cooking is another amazing part of this game as well. I've just been cooking all sorts of crazy stuff. So, what should we have? I don't want to waste something too good. Ah, a nice steak. And an apple. <laughs> no. something that'll fill half. Nice. Okay, I'm digressing anyway. Let's crack on. Stop the cog. Yeah. <laughs> Mario can't do that, can you? Do you reckon they get on, Mario and Link? Sweet. Okay, I've got to stop this ball next. Jump out the way at the last minute. Ah! Let's do it. Come at me. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> this is a cool ability. See you later. Oh, 
ice chest. Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! I was dead then! Fuck, that was so bad. That's why I don't do Twitch, yeah? I do an amazing fail. I'm sitting here now to reward me. Oh yeah, it's better than all the shields I've got. Totally worth almost dying. Right, and this is my best uh, weapon. So it's what a normal one handed sword is decent though. Best bow. Yeah. So that's my best possible setup at the moment. Still look like I'm wearing pajamas as well. I can't wait to. Well, I assume you'll you'll get the uh, traditional lint costume at some point. That should be sweet. Okay, I've got another ball to think about now. <laughs> I'm so mad, it just fell on my head. Oh, big hammer. Oh, that wants me to play croquet. Oh shit. There's not much room for your weapons though, but you know, because there's two, there's a gap there, I, sh I assume you can increase your capacity. I'm constantly having to do this. Leaf man. I get loads of those clubs, so giant sledgehammer, so I'm gonna get to bash this now. Oh, look at the size of this. We'll do a rehearsal on this one first. I can get my revenge as well. Halt! Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, 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 fuck now. I'm playing too many games at the moment, I just can't get the controls. <laughs> so we'll just carry on. That ball wins. Let's about you. I'm gonna smash you. Just confirm. Yeah, it won't move without stasis. Let's give it a go. Now. Oh. Place. The more hits you put into it, the mentler it'll go as well, so... Oh. Hey. Okay, that's it, I think. Yeah. Okay, so this shrine looks to be complete. Unless, like, a boss jumps out of nowhere now or something. Hand over the orb, man. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you very much. Taken to the beginning again, which is handy. <laughs> Lovely. And that was quite short as well, so we, yeah, might as well crack on. That yellow icon on the map is the last one. Very nice. <laughs> and as anticipated, I've got even more new stuff and a new ability. On this rock as well, I was messing with it before I started recording. I actually, uh, there was a chest underneath, and I actually managed to move it by putting two bombs. But now, <laughs> with this ability, I could just move it at will. Oh, I don't want to wreck a good weapon on it, just see the leaf. <laughs> oh, no matter what the weapon, you can just power it away. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this world. And that isn't the edge of a map, by the way, it's just the edge of his area. I haven't... You need to get to these tops of these towers to unlock a map for the area. That's just unexplored. Oh, let's just keep going. Oh. 
higher and higher. Oh shit, feeling cold, but I got just the thing. You can cook special food to keep you warm. I went into a cold area earlier and I figured that out. Nice. So I've got a few different dishes. Nice. So this will keep me warm in this kind of temperature for about four minutes. I think you can get warm clothes as well, but I've not come across any. Still in my pyjamas. Lovely. Gobs? Uh, I guess I'll have to climb down. Once I get the paraglider, I'll just be able to just go straight off cliffs and just float around and stuff, but I'll do it the adventure way again. Unless there's a path somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I've got enough stamina to get to the bottom. <laughs> I think so. I'm loving this new agile link. It's like Spider-Man. Right. Shit, I wonder if I've got enough warm food to get me to the shrine. You know, keeping me warm inside like ready brick. Here we go. I'm not gonna fight those, I'm just gonna carry on. Shit, I think. I'm below them now, I think, anyway. Ooh. Getting a bit jerky. I've got loads of like 4K textures and all sorts of stuff on, I think I've just got a bit greedy. <laughs> That's the thing on PC, it just makes you greedy about graphics, but it's a great looking game anyway, even at the standard like Switch settings. Hey, I can see I've had one of these before. Oh god. It's really fun chopping down trees. You can get apples on trees and stuff and you can either climb up or you can blow them away with your leaf or you just chop a whole tree down. <laughs> Let's do it. This will go in the water. I guess that water is dangerous as well, if we jump in it. Should I jump on the log? Go on then. Uh, oh no. Oh, whoa, what? There's a boat. Oh, shit. Kind of made myself a path. Shit, shit. There's a chest down there as well. Hmm. Let's just keep going. Wow. Oh shit. Oh god. Damn it. That's why I don't want to try and get the chest. Oh. Oh wow. There's a boat. And like the, the shrine is across the water as well. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, it's so game. This game's so exciting. <laughs> oh wait. Oh my god. If this works. Oh please. No. Sweet. Oh fuck. What a game. This oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, how dynamic is that? It's gone over the cliff, yeah? All these four shrines, you can just approach them in any order. I've just come this way. I didn't have to go this way. I didn't even have to have this leaf on me. I mean, it encouraged me to chop that tree with the axe, but I've chopped trees down before. And it's... Fuck, this game. <laughs> I'm tempted to just carry on down the river in case it's like big waterfalls or something, but I'll stay focused on the task. Oh, man. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I'm buzzing off this game. To eat some more food in a bit. Warmth. That was superb. Uh, emergent gameplay. Oh. oh shit. Oh no, don't get too excited. I'm just gonna run. Let's right, get some food anyway. At least I'm getting some hearts back from it now as well. Getting my money's worth. Oh man, that was amazing. One Sam. Ah, I just a normal one inside some ice. Like the last Zelda game I played pro properly was uh, Minish Cap, and I 
only played Twilight Princess a bit. That's I think that's why I'm buzzing so much of it as well, because I haven't played Zelda for so long, you know, that Nintendo magic. But fuck, this game is something special, definitely. Those choo-choo things were in Minish Cap, weren't they? That's the last time I've seen them. Oh, don't get too distracted. There's always just something to look at and stuff. And this yellow icon as well, I put it on the map. It was my choice. Yeah, it's, it seems to be like completely your choice to put icons and stuff. Otherwise, you're just alone in the wild, just going wherever you want. Wow. You can always see Death Mountain as well. Similar to... Uh, a tower, you know, in City 17 in Half-Life 2. You can always see your kind of end destination or your enemy. Oh, I hope it's not cold like this inside the shrine, because I definitely haven't got enough hot food to last that long. There it is. <laughs> Still going to get over that dynamic gameplay. Fuck, that was superb. That's my favourite gaming moment, I think, for a long time. Look at all this to explore. And the world looks pretty bloody massive as well. Oh, I've just realised as well, yeah, that chest in the water. I think I might have been able to get it out with a magnet. But I was just not focusing on that anyway. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm up in the cold now, but it's like a desert across the valley. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, it's quite cool as well. It's different. There's no... Whoa, shit. Balls again. Zelda balls. The music, you know, when you're in the outworld like this, it's just hardly any at all. It's just really ambient. You know, it's just really relaxing, but it's such an exciting game at the same time. There we go. Oh shit. Slime fires. Oh fuck it. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Judge for a barrel at me, I think, but it hit him. Not bad. Loads of these horns now, whatever they do, I'm not sure yet. I think they're either a cooking material or you can use them to make armor or something, I'm not sure. Let's see. Stay a bit warm. For a while, by the fire at least. I oh, see this is still just the early stages of this game, I still don't know much about it. It's just <laughs> amazing, amazing. Wee. Barrels. Could have snuck up and shot this with an arrow instead. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> They're a lot more fragile than regular boxes and stuff. Oh, God, that was almost another fail. <laughs> oh, well. Ah, it's only up there anyway, but I've got to eat some more. Ah, I don't want to. You know, it's only up there, though. I don't want to waste all the cold food I've made. There's another chest there. It's wood in there. Let's just get in there. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'll, I'll end up eventually, when I'm a lot harder than this. But I believe once you've left the Great Plateau, you can actually go there whenever you want. So you can go there with three hearts or whatever if you want, <laughs> and try and kill Ganon. I don't think uh, Princess Zelda would be happy with that though. If the uh, chosen one just went straight as a weakling to try and get her and got killed straight away. So I'm not going to do that. Here we go. I'm behind a bit. Shit, let's go in and get warm, hopefully, otherwise I'm screwed. So yeah, once I've done this one, I've got all four, and then I can get my glider and leave the Great Plateau into the wider world. They've all been really easy so far though, but I don't want to get complacent. Maybe the last one gets turned into something difficult, you know, whichever way you approach them, but 
Might be wrong. Let's do this. Fittingly, it's going to be some kind of ice business. Right. I hope. I'm not shivering, so hopefully when that cold resistance runs out, nothing bad's going to happen. Yeah. Hit me with your juice. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Nice. Oh, it's make platforms and stuff. Lovely. This is all going to be about ice platforms. Hey, cool to try it out. Lovely. Shiny magical ice. Oh, get his elder noise, but that was a piece of piss. Shat. Oh, cool. You know, this is all like the shrines, like intending to teach you how to use these abilities, but you can imagine, like, for real dungeons later on are going to involve, like, multi layered puzzles with all of your abilities. So, oh, it's going to get crazy. I can't wait to get into those. Make one on top of the, the other. I wonder. Right, so I'm just getting closer to this gate. It's a bit fiddly. Whoa, whoa. to jump over, unless I can put one on top of the other, like I said. Let's have a go. Oh dear. Might have to call the Nintendo hotline. Oh, I know it. Yes. Get it under. Lift that mother. Hope so. Otherwise, oh yes. I was going to say, otherwise I really will have to call him, but yes. Oh, hello. What is this? I've seen massive ones of those as stationary. I've not seen little ones moving around, fuck. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something ice related to beat it or just try and just bomb it or something. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh dear. Boom! Oh my god. Oh. Fuck, I just shot myself then. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to there now. And, uh. Consider a new approach. <laughs> okay, take two. <laughs> Straight up. Oh. Up. And then the next one, under. Oh, gutted I died, but at least it's not Zelda 2, otherwise I would have been bloody starting back at that house, probably at the bottom of the cliff at the very start of the video. Absolutely savage, that game. Come on now, let's not crumble under pressure this time. Yep. Fucker. Oh my god. Whoa, it moves fast. I'm not sure if my shield can block his laser. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's locked. Oh my god. 
Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Speaking of the Nintendo Hotline, I did call it once when I was a kid because I couldn't get past the door in Link's Awakening on Game Boy. I phoned him and, I, and he just went, you threw a pot at it. He was really pissed off and I was only like eight years old. Just gave me like a proper row. When I put the phone down, I felt like ashamed that I'd even called. It cost about eight quid as well because it's like, it's like three pound a minute. And you can't uh, destroy magical ice with a hammer. But you can thwack giant balls. I remember that. Loot. Right, I've picked up a few of these already. I look forward to seeing what they make in the future. A bit of double pillar action. Cheeky little double. Hi -yo. That's it now. Oh, he's up there, and we've got a chest as well. The orb, the final orb, is within my grasp. Let's go have a look at this chest first. But of course, I make a pillar to get there. Of course. Silly. So, yeah. Well, one broke behind me then. There must be a capacity of about two or three of them. Three, I think. What we got? Oh, I've had that already. Crap. Let's see. Might just leave it. Because the leaf is my newfound love after that amazing boat moment. Yeah, shove it. Sort me in all blood. friend already told me. <laughs> you know what he, they, they, he looks like? He looks like Yoda and Dalsim together, like a love child. Yes. God bless you, take care, yeah? See you later, Yoda. Yoga. Yoda. Yoda flame. Catch you later. That's it. Now, got to go back to the uh, old man Zelda. Oh, oh here. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that's it. With my merchandise. Give me, man. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh. Come on. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh, what? Don't play me, man. He's already been messing me about loads, yeah. First he said he'd give me the glider for one orb, then four, and now he's bloody turned up and I've got to go find him somewhere else. Oh, and I'm cold again. Ah. Oh. Ah, and with that chest now, I can put an ice pillar underneath, can't I? Lovely. Just warm up first off. Oh, and I've got that one with a magnet to try as well at the very start of a gold section. But that's all I've got. I've only got one meal. Of hot. Six minutes. I can always come back. Really wanted to glide off here as well. And triumph. <laughs> There'll be plenty of cliffs to glide off in the future, I'm sure. Blop. Blop. Yeah, and where was he talking about now as well? Let's see. The four corners there, the shrines. Of course, the Temple of Time. I've been past there already as well. 
So, but yeah, if he's not there, then I really will be calling the Nintendo hotline. <laughs> nice, it's got to be though. Lovely, so let's get on to that. Doesn't matter. What's all that as well? That's another ability. Can't wait. Loved it so far. I'm going to cut it there for now anyway, but I'll definitely be doing more Zelda videos in the future because this game is sensational. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.